time for another youth video report. So. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today's Monday. It's a new week, and re I'm sure you guys are already started your uh, your school online, and that's only going to be here for a couple more weeks. I think uh, September the 21st, you guys go back to school uh, full-time in class, and so we look forward to that. As I've said before, hopefully that is when we can start getting back to what we do. I would think we will probably initially just do Wednesday night and not do Sunday night, because we still have to clean and sanitize uh, the sanctuary. And so after Sunday morning, we'd have to have someone come in and sanitize everything uh, in the sanctuary and other parts of the church. And that might be just a little bit too much for us to have to do. So, and I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll announce this when we do. But I would think initially we'll probably just go to Wednesday night. That gives us more time to get the church cleaned up and be safe for everybody. Anyway, guys, today I want to read a verse of Scripture scripture to you from the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 8 and 9 and it says this but the lord is not slow about his promise at some count as some count slowness but is patient towards you not wishing for any to perish but for all to come to repentance but now the lord is always true to his promises and the most important passage and this is going to be a little short today that i want you to see there it says that he's not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. All. That's every single person. We talk about this all the time. Jesus Christ came. He died for the world so that the world could be saved. You know, John 3.17, that you know, God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world through him should be saved. And what Peter is saying to the church in Jerusalem is that God is is he wants everybody to come to repentance, every single person. And so there's nobody out there that you should ever look at and say, well, they'll they'll never get saved, or they'll never accept Christ. Don't think that way. Because with God, all things are possible. I have seen it. Some of the people that I thought that there's just no hope. There's no way they'll ever turn their life around and give their life to Christ. And I've seen them do it through the power of the Holy Spirit. God has a way of of putting people in our lives, in other people's lives, that can speak to them and, and make a difference. A lot of times, when you try to speak to your family or somebody you're really close to, it's hard to do that because they know you. They know all your faults. And so it's very easy for them to dismiss what you might say, especially as it pertains to the Bible, because they know they know all your faults, pretty much, if they're close to you. A lot of times, God sends someone into their life that they don't know as well, and they might say the same thing to them that you've been saying to them for years, but maybe just says it in a little different way, and they end up responding and giving their life to Christ. Anyway, guys, God is not slow concerning his promises, and he definitely uh, is ready with open arms to receive anyone who will give their heart to him. Anyway, guys, hope this helps you. Have a great Monday, and we will talk to you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.